A White House official came to Tucson today in part to highlight money the administration has channeled to Tucson for infrastructure. The streets, bridges, and other structures require to make a modern city run. As Kega 9's Craig Smith reports, part of that is to help reconnect a neighborhood a super highway split apart. When I-19 went in years ago, it created a barrier between Southside Tucson communities. Well, now the city of Tucson and the federal government are working on a new way to get over that barrier for people on foot and people on bikes. The federal government is giving Tucson about $900,000 to plan a pedestrian and bike bridge from Nebraska Street over I-19 to neighborhoods cut off by the interstate. Money to build the bridge would have to come later. Tom Perez says the bridge should remove the old stigma of life on the wrong side of the tracks. And, and the origin of that figure of speech is that so many transportation projects literally divided communities, and in particular divided communities of color, and that's what happened here. People we asked on Nebraska Street worry a bridge only for walkers and bike riders will aggravate crime. They'd rather see a bridge on a bigger street that cars can use too. Mayor Rahina Romero says a bridge like that is also in the works. In South Tucson, Craig Smith, KGUN 9.